New this morning, a local woman who was forced to have part of one of her legs amputated after an accident is showing people her physical challenges do not define her. Yeah, that's for sure, Chris. She spends most of her days at the Waterfleet pool, but it doesn't stop there. I didn't want to live. I just, I didn't have a purpose. Or so she thought. That's Shelly T-Bout flailing there in the water. A former Albany Corrections officer for the Albany County Sheriff's Department, an athlete, nursing student, lifeguard, and an amputee. The first three questions are, are you diabetic? Are you a soldier? And were you born this way? And she's neither. Her life just one day changed. It happened on her job as a corrections officer in 1997 when a food cart weighing more than 500 pounds hit her. And it actually rolled up over the back of my boot and it pinched, unbeknownst to us at the time, pinched the nerves between the bones of my ankle. Trying to save her leg, over the next 17 years, T-Bout had 29 surgeries. And when my doctor found out that I had attempted to take my life because I couldn't live with this pain anymore. It was just constant nagging and it never went away. Um, he said it was time. When I tried to kill myself, the doctor sat with me on the bed and he's like, look, I need to take your blood. So I let him and he came back and he said, we need to do it again. And he did it again and he said, look, you need to find your purpose. He said, because I've done the same blood test three times, you should be dead, but you're not. There's some reason for you to be here and you have to find that purpose. On the road to recovery, she found a group called Challenged Athletes Foundation, an organization that provides support to people with physical challenges. And they flew me out to San Diego and it was there that I had hope. I was surrounded by 1500 people like me. First in my division and First since then she's here. been unstoppable i wouldn't be doing this now if i didn't get hurt i'm a kid of the 80s i ran i swam and i biked did i do them as one organized sport no i've done 14 triathlons since losing my leg it's just a different path the path she's fulfilling her purpose on All right, Shelly. 25 years post accident Shelly's got a new leg, a new life, and a new attitude towards herself. Good job, kid. I can hear my uncle. Good job, kiddo. You made us proud.